Hey, YouTube. Well, I'm going to talk about uh, something kind of serious. This thing, prep. You guys who watched uh, uh, Pose last night, one of the commercials is from a drug company advertising prep. So I, want, I think I should speak a little bit about my experience with prep. You guys know that I've been HIV positive for 30 years, and I've been through a lot of medications and so forth. But uh, the drug that they're, they're promoting is called Truvada. Truvada for PrEP, they call it now. It used to be just PrEP, now it's Truvada for PrEP. Uh, so I think I, people should say something about their experience with this particular drug because it can be dangerous. Now, I saw in the warnings, they do tell you that you have to have your kidneys checked, liver checked. My experience with, 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 this, with the Truvada, the drug Truvada, I started taking it couple of years before it, they even came up, up with PrEP. It was just an HIV medication. Same medication. But uh, I only encountered, I was in, doing a support group at the time for people, long-term survivors of HIV, you know, we have various problems. We get together and talk about our problems with uh, this disease. Of the people, when I, when I, when I spoke about my experience with, with uh, Truvada, and that it had cost me 50% of my kidney function before the doctors moved me off of it, right? What I was amazed to hear was all the people in the room who had experience with Truvada, they lost a big chunk of their kidney function before the doctors moved them off. See, a lot of these doctors, at least at that time, this is only a few years ago, maybe I don't know, eight, eight, nine years ago, they would use particular drugs, even though they know they would harm your, your, your organs, and then they would manage it. A little bit of damage here, we switch over to something else, do damage there, switch over to that. But none that I encountered was more harmful than Truvada. Okay, Truvada cost me 50% of my kidney function. Of the people who I expressed it, I don't express it in this particular group, right? They all the ones who had, had experience with Truvada had lost a huge pieces, usually around 50% of their kidney function. So that probably means that at some point in our future, Jimmy Speed stop, at some point in our future, we're going to end up on dialysis because our kidneys are shot out behind Truvada. Now, I'm not saying it to, be, to scare people. I'm not saying that Truvada is not a good drug or whatever. I don't know that. Or maybe they've made some adjustments to it, some changes to it. But that is a very dangerous drug to be messing with. Because after the fun function is gone, it doesn't come back. So I can say, well, I'm 60 years old. I discovered, discovered this at about 50 years old, 50 years old, that it was really destroying my kidneys. And the, the hospital wouldn't even tell me that it was destroying my kidneys. Because all they said was, well, your kidney function is, is, is dropped by half. We want to take you off of Travada. They took me off of Travada and instantly there was no more damage to my kidneys. So it was no question that that was, that was what caused it. But they said, oh no, it's the hepatitis or it's something else. So why take me off of the Travada, the only new drug I added? I was on it for maybe, I think three years, if I can remember right, half of my kidney function. Well, more recently, with this commercial, what inspired me to do this video is that it, when they were, they were giving you uh, the instruction that you're, you have to have strong kidneys, it could, it could cause kidney function or kidney failure. They also said that it could cause damage to your liver. Now, approximately two months ago, I was told I had liver cancer. No mention of, of this Travada drug. But he said, oh, no, this is because you had hepatitis B. You had you had, had a big carrier, hepatitis B, for 40 years. Now, all of a sudden, it's causing damage to my, never had, I never had hepatitis B, but I was a carrier. I had an agent in my, my bloodstream. All of a sudden, I got, I got uh, liver cancer. Well, but, but the thing is, if this thing was strong enough to knock out half of my kidney function, did it also do damage to my liver? 
No doubt my liver is damaged. So my point in saying all, all this is, I'm an old dude, right? To put people on this drug, Truvada, at 20 years old, what is your body going to be like at 40 years old? You got to think ahead. I know when you're young, you don't want you don't think about health thing unless it's affecting you directly, right? You think, oh, I can have sex, whatever. But I want people to really, really consider the possible damage these HIV drugs do to the body, and in particular, Truvada. Now, I can't say that I definitely got liver cancer because of Truvada, but I lost my kidney function from, because of Truvada. And at that same time, or very near that time, when I got off, when they took me off the drug, is when they discovered there was problems with my liver. You see what I'm saying? So, I guess they don't, if they, they, they're allowed to, to still manufacture it and still advertise it, so it must not be harmful to everybody. But I think starting a drug like that at 20 years old, you're going to be on it forever, for, for what I understand. Because it's not like it, it, you do it and then it cures something. It doesn't cure anything. It's just, it's just prevent things from happening. 20 years, you'll be 40 years old. What condition is your are your kidneys and your liver and your other organs going to be in for messing with this drug? That's all I want to say. I just want to put it out there. It's been on my... It's been on my... I've wanted to talk about it for quite a while, but I know it's, it doesn't affect a lot of people, so a lot of people don't give a shit. But we should give a shit. We should... And also, when I was researching this, when I first found out that about my the kidney function, now these other guys who, who had this similar experience, none of them were African Americans, right? I was the only one black. But when I was researching uh, this effect, this side effect, I said that for some reason, African Americans suffer from this more than other races. You know the internet. The internet got everything on there. So this is just something that came across and a couple of articles that I came across stating that we were more susceptible. So, if you do decide to do prep, first of all, don't stop doing rubbers. Be quiet. Hey, be quiet. Come here. Come here, ding dong, dingy. Get your boom up here. See my baby? This dog. Oh, let me finish my story before I start talking about the dog. <laughs> I'm falling in love with the little dog. Get right here. Stay right here. I want the people to see your face. Put that face right there, the ding dong ding. This dog here, I am falling in love with him. But uh, what else am I saying about prep? Just be aware, people, and be tested. When they say have your kidneys tested every three months, do not take that lightly, because I was the only only thing for a couple of years, and it did that much damage. Not only to me, but the other people that I encountered who was on the same drug had almost the same uh, effect. They weren't all black. They weren't all nothing. They just all took that drug. Okay? All right, it's enough of that. Now, the baby face. Deeny face, Deeny face. This dog is, uh, they're Tibetan. If you, uh, it's called a uh, Lhasa Apso, right? So it's the one that got the hair goes all the way to the ground if, if you are so inclined to groom them every day, we'll keep his short. But their job in in Tibet, the monks use them in their in their I guess their monasteries. These were guard dogs. Look, look at this thing. <laughs> look at this little thing. You see that? It's a little video thing, right? These were guard dogs. They signal, from what I understand, they signal lions. The lions were, you know, the real protectors. But these dogs could hear any movement in the, in the castles, palaces, monasteries. They could, they always alerted. So every time somebody walks in this hallway out here, he goes, bah, 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 bah. it's a certain sound, a certain kind of cough that he makes, <laughs> a, a certain kind of little bark that he makes. I said, how in the hell is that going to be? Is he going to bite their ankles to death? No, he alerted the real dogs and the lions. And that's something? That's the history of the dog. So in other words, I'm stuck with this dog every time somebody moves into the damn building. And there's 90-some units in this building. <laughs> he goes into something. <laughs> All right, people. Consult your doctors with this prep. Don't take it casually. And please do not stop using rubbers.